You know what that means. Technically, they're the Mud Hounds. More on the four-legged friends in a moment. Bottom of the second, no score. Carrie Carpenter, man on. Rockets went out to left. Looks like extra bases for sure, but check out Ronnie Dawson leaping to make the catch. Survives the impact. Gets it back in to double up Josh Lester, keeping the Hounds off the board. Carpenter, though, would go two for three despite that loud out. In the third, Toledo down a run. Man on for Akil Badu. Deep drive to center, but that's the wrong part of the park. Lorenzo Sodrala chases it down. Hens threaten, but do not score. In the fourth time for Toledo to flash the leather. Stuart Fairchild, the liner, but Brendan Davis going high at third to make the play. That's why they call it the hot corner. Go to the sixth inning. Toledo chases at Justin Nicolino. First pitch from reliever Philip Deal, and Davis makes it a big deal. Three run homer to left. Toledo in front. Davis's fourth home run of the season. Bats get a run back in the eighth with two on. Derek Law freezes Isaiah Gillum. Threat ends. Toledo still in front. D Law goes an inning in two thirds for the save. Hens win it 3 2. As Matt Melzak and Jim Weber explain, Toledo's pitchers able to work in and out of trouble all night long, the key to victory. All right, thanks out here at Fifth Third Field. Jim, there were a couple of really key moments in this game. A, the bats had the lead one to nothing. The fifth and sixth inning, each inning they got a lead off, they got a lead off double, they got a lead off triple. They didn't score runs in those innings. No, that really hurt them and probably cost them the game, especially the lead off triple. You got a guy at third, you can score with almost anything. A ground out here, a ground out there, a little blooper. And yet to hold that guy through the next three hitters was key. That was probably a key to the game. Then, of course, Brendan Davis with his one swing of the bat. And how about the pitching once again of Derek Law? Yeah, that's where I was going to go next. The final key of it is in the eighth inning. Ryan Garcia had pitched very well of late. All of a sudden, can't find the zone, walks a couple of batters, gives up a run. And in comes Derek Law to get a five-out save tonight. Well, I mentioned that on the air. I said, I think Lloyd might do it, which he did. And he strikes out the final two guys in the eighth inning. Gets the first one in the ninth inning, a couple of ground balls, and it's over. Save number 15 for Derek Law. He has a chance to put himself in the record books uh, for the butt ends. I know Mike Christopher had, I think, 30 or 31. We'll have to look that up. But he's on a pace to save over 30 games, if not more. Yeah, and the extra 10 games this year, that could certainly... Help that uh, with playing 150 on the schedule this season. But yes, uh, you know, the, the bullpen has been a strength of this team all season long, Jim. You know, despite some of the struggles, they're still third or fourth in the entire league. Even though hitting wise, we're near the bottom. In pitching, we are near the top. As game one of this six game set goes to Toledo. Game two coming up tomorrow afternoon with a noon start.